stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. Say, he's a wild boy. <laughs> for being like you beat just like what the. You're the number, you're the poster boy of that. Chris Brown is probably more famous as an abuser than he is as a musician, I think. In the back of your mind, like, you kind of always do think, oh, man, Chris Brown and Rihanna. But, like, to say, like, equally as famous, I think I'd say it's, more. It's, I would say, I would say he's more famous as an, he's. For people who listen to his music, absolutely, he's more famous as an artist than as an abuser. Everybody who never listened to Chris Brown shit and who hasn't since knows about the Rihanna shit. Which is more people. Which point, is way right? more people. Mm. Mm. You know? That's the world. Everybody, people who never listened to his music know that he beat up Rihanna. Yeah. So, yeah well, I'll give you that one. I will give yeah. you that one. Statistically, factually. It's a red flag. I'm looking forward to the new season of uh, Interview with a Vampire. Y'all should watch that shit if you don't. Mm. What it's is good. that about? Staring me down as his hands went wandering the seams of Miss Lily's dress. I wanted to take the end of my cane and slit his throat with it. I love the movie. It's about uh, an interview with a vampire who's from like <laughs> Fair. back in the day. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> who's from back in the Just in the day? I mean, it'd be kind of weird if they named it that and it wasn't about that. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what it's is, about what aliens? Is <laughs> what is bat? What is Batman about? It's about a guy called the Batman. Like yeah. what the fuck? Who wears what a bat suit? Um. So it's, it's this guy's interviewing a vampire. Actually, it's not even about an interview with a vampire. It's, 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 it's like that's the that's the starting point. That's the storytelling method. It's not even about the interview. Okay. Um, it's about this vampire. Yeah. Who that's started in like Louis Louisiana? It's a it's a podcast. It's a podcast about a what? about a vampire. Is this no, a movie? It's, or? it's a TV series. It, it, it was, was a movie, movie but it's a it, yeah. Oh, so Which I think was a, based on a book. If I'm not mistaken, Probably. But it's a podcast right. disguised as a, as a show that was once created into a movie, but going back to a show now about a podcast. It's not a. It's not a. I just said podcast. I. I it's not really about a podcast. There's oh, no okay. podcast. But, but um, basically, it's a. It's a. It's a goddamn. Uh, a Louisiana vampire, country Cajun, Creole vampire. He's Creole. He's Creole. Creole it's a Creole vampire. vampire. And is it really a Creole vampire in this version? Because that sounds like a True Blood reference. Like I didn't know if that was for real. So either. well, it depends. Like, what is Creole? Because I know that there was that that white lady going, or that you know, logic ra raced woman who was getting roasted online because people were like, "You're not black." I never said I was a hundred percent black. I told y'all what I was mixed with. I'm multi ethnic, and stop saying I'm biracial. And then people were being like, you know, all these people that were calling Creole like they're black, but they're just white people with a tan from Louisiana. Like what is Creole? Is is that black? Or mm, it, typically I see it used with either white or mulatto people that have ancestry rooted in the like French fur trappers in like that Louisiana Purchase E area. Like even especially like black people too identify as oh I'm Creole. Like so it's like white, black, mulatto, whatever. Like if you're from that yeah. region, if you're from that place and you have like you damn near can speak French. Yeah. So he's black, but he's definitely light skinned, but he's doesn't but both are like all it's he's it's like a like a light skinned uh aristocratic family and he does speak French. So whatever race that is, and it's his story of meeting this vampire in the French quarter and just their lives and then cross time, you know, because you know, vampires be living a long time, so it's like him and in the eighties and all different kind of shit. So it's I'm not doing a great job, but you know. You've done better, but okay. maybe I'll check it out. But how influenced is it by the movie? Because the movie is literally one of my like quietly one of my favorite movies. It's like oh, interesting. Movies. See, because I actually like, started trying to watch the movie because I liked the series so much, but I couldn't get into it. But I only gave it like maybe like five minutes before I was like, eh. so maybe I'll give it another try. I'd, I'd say give it a little bit more because like I, it's it's a, it's definitively a top three Tom Cruise performance. Okay. Like definitively, you'll get used to killing. Just forget about that mortal coil. You'll become accustomed to things all too quickly. Okay, okay. Well, look, I don't know if it's like the movie, but it's very good. It's very, it's, it's basically like, you know what it is? This, this, this is a better advertisement of it. It's basically a thriller slash drama, romantic drama of slow burn gaslighting and domestic abuse in the form of like a vampire context. Plus, like, some abuse. mystical, magical, sci-fi, you know, Maybe. bullshit as the background. 
That's by an, domestic abuse by an immortal being. Exactly. Exactly. That is, all right. Sounds like for some engaging uh, television. And with it's that good. being said, mm. welcome everybody to Waving the Red Flag, the number one dating relationship, um, top 10 LinkedIn DM slotting podcast in the entire universe, and especially mm. parts of the fifth dimension, because your boys is out here. It's Josh. Shout out, Willow. You're Eddie. And we got the magnanimous Alvin with us. Gentlemen, how the fuck are you? I'm okay. I think, um, I, no, I'm... I'm I'm, 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 no, I'm better than no. It sounded really sad was, when you said that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, no, no, don't apologize for. For my emotions. You know, for not being, for just being okay. But yo, I did want to talk to y'all about some music shit. Okay. First of all. Fuck your bitch in the clicky claim. Kendrickson started some shit, called this man out, hasn't responded. Is there a time limit on when a nigga can, has to respond to a, to a, you know, to a beef, to a, to a diss on? I think there's a time limit if it's good. Drake took three weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did y'all hear the uh the second one, the second disc? How does that one go? He used uh, AI for oh the snooping and yeah, Pac Pac. thing. Yo, yeah, yeah. I didn't even listen to it. I don't know. It's not bad. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. I mean, for what he's doing, that motherfucker's good. Yeah, because the breezy one was like that. That shit oh. was actually pretty fucking good and very vicious. Very. Especially, Should have been you is actually why like that's yeah, too that's too much race yeah that's too much yeah I don't know man I don't that's know. swing on you in public yeah type of comments because you got to think that's one of Quavo's most traumatic experiences in his entire life is that and it happened not to me it feels quite recent I think so like, I agree post, that it's that, too, that happened post pandemic like it's so still, I it's agree in the modern era I agree that it's too much but I also think that that's what hip-hop beefs have been historically like when i think of no vaseline and you know hit them up and god bless the dead like i mean like you okay a qu- couple the, of questions because i'm not as yeah. much of a hip-hop historian what are the things like when you think of times that people crossed like the civilian line in hip-hop disses what are like the top three in that regard like with no vaseline etc cetera, etc cetera? like what was said fuck your wife fuck your bitch I'm, yeah I'm fuck your bitch is kind of whatever yeah, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I fuck Jay, Jay, I'm thinking Jay Z mentioning Nas's daughter. I'm thinking Ja Rule mentioning Eminem's daughter in a song. What did they say specifically? I mean, Google it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, well, yeah. the, the point that I'm, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm just assuming that yeah. you know what you're talking about, so that's why I asked. I mean, you, I mean, 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 Pull random I mean, I do. No, because, I, yeah, I'm I mean, not, I'm I not do, trying to corner not, anyone. We we're we're talking about the the Quavo shit, and I'm saying, hey, this is a really so, intense. So part. I don't. So and I'm no, going. If you know about no, it, tell me about it. If you don't, no, then we here, can Google it. That's fine. No, here, no, but here's my point. I don't feel cornered. So if you if you in, interpret it that as feeling cornered, I'm just I'm just. What I like to do with those situations is like if I don't know the lyric, like I'm not gonna like recite it because I've like put my foot in my mouth on several times, whether or not anybody caught it or not um thinking about trying to recite lyrics and not being able to give them justice so like i would just say you like, know you don't you have know, to recite hey, the thing up. just like yeah but but yeah like, let's like, not act like what i asked um, was unreasonable like look it up as is, is some weird so 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 if it sounds like so it sounds like you thought what i said was unreasonable so i apologize for that thing because i don't feel cornered i don't think you asked me anything unreasonable I'm just talking, so I apologize if you thought what I no, said. No, no, you're good. I think also Josh, so, is, so Josh five, jumping so, in as well uh, also made me feel like, yo, uh, what's going on? Like, I just asked the question, like, dog. Like, 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 but no, no, go, go, uh, Yeah, my yeah, ultimate my point is that like hip hop lyrics have gotten brutal and like that kind of stuff. I don't think that's right, but I'm just saying if you're basing it off of like those standards, then like, yeah, cool. I, okay, so so going back to what my initial question is, it which is. Do we have any any actual examples of someone like not vaguely talking about something, but hitting anything that's that level? Because mentioning someone's daughter, unless there's a specific line that you find particularly egregious, doesn't seem like anything to me. All, all of those, all girl, of those, all of those lines mentioning people's daughter, I think cross lines. I'm thinking like when people were talking about Forty was gonna die when they were talking about when they were dissing Drake stuff yeah. because he has fucking yeah. um, MS. Like I'm saying, like like I mean. That's close, but it's not. It's not your your family who was shot to death in front of you should have been you. That's that's way different than your sick friend is going to die. Like it's bad, but that's a yeah. that's a different level to me. Yeah, 
yeah, but I, w- I would definitely put any mention of like somebody's like children um, in the in the context any that their mention? children were mentioned in the con- in the context that their children were mentioned to be bad. Yes, yeah, I, I need to know these lines because that's one yeah. thing like you don't do is bring bring in someone's like who doesn't have anything to do with like family into like rap beefs. If it's especially if it's between two grown ass niggas and you talking about a man wife who ain't got shit to do with this or a man's child who definitely ain't got shit to do with this and dissing them just so you can like try to razzle up your damn your rap opponent that's something that you just don't do because it's like all right you can say whatever you want about me but don't talk about these people and i'm so that's the same level as as a person murdered in front of you no one is arguing against you with on that okay. like we're just saying okay, okay. all of these lyrics are this. egregious okay yeah, i'm I mean, saying I mean, this I mean, is specifically thinking, a line that's not been crossed previously is my point i'm think it's not it's not i'm thinking and again i'm thinking even further so i'm thinking gucci and um i'm thinking gucci and jeezy's beef okay oh but that one that was real he actually yeah. shot that mother yeah yeah he actually yeah. Gucci well, uh, yeah, was okay. the shooter like i mean well, see, he, i mean that, like what it, see that they makes did sense. they did like they, those are fighting they did a verse they did a versus and this nigga Gucci was like RIP to this nigga, yo nigga such and such or what the fuck ever. Like, I mean, not not new territory. That yeah, doesn't okay. make it See, right. that's really not new territory. That doesn't man. make it that doesn't make it right because it's not new territory. Just no, no, I'm not saying yeah, and I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying it th- that is surprising and which is what made me d- doubt its validity because that seems like fi- like that's beyond talking shit, you know, kind of music shit. That's actual now physical fighting, rap, murder, fighting beef. It could get like deeper than you know, yeah. It could get deeper than just bars, like because that was some way really more. fucked up. Like the only, I think he kind of he lessened the blow of that shit. Even though he's what he said was super fucked up, was by like praising and up and bigging up uh, takeoff by saying. But he kind of but Offset caught a stray in that shit too. So I don't know what their relationship is. But anyway, but, but yeah, nah, like- it should have been you. It's crazy. It's, yeah, but it's also like just like, mentioning the the murder and then being like it should have been you is. I, but I have not heard like, anything in this conversation that's comparable to that yet, except so, for the, the um, who did you say Gucci Jeezy thing? Yeah, but it's also like there's also historical context where rap beefs have escalated to actual physical altercations that have course, resulted yeah. in like I'm the obvious one is you know the implications with you know like Biggie and Pac and then again yes, Fifty exactly. and Ja. There are points where I thought T.I. and Lil Flip was going to escalate the blows. There was Dolph and um, and Yo Gotti, you know, 100 rounds. Uh, for anybody who remembers that era. Rap beefs have escalated into into literal, like, I'm, I'm getting somebody oh. to spray your vehicle with machine guns and shit like that and again unless, that's not that's not right but like let's not and let's not, mi- and let's not forget bar. all the the chirac shit like you know all the chicago drill music and like old block versus uh oh man what's the other one i'm 63rd mm. fredo okay. fredo santana is not alive no, okay you know Mac, like vaughn is not alive saying, like hell of them niggas is not alive like so is chris brown but yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead what is Chris Brown the person to be do like that's I'm not saying I'm like I'm I, I'm surprised that Chris Brown is dropping a line like that because that's fighting words like I'm going oh Chris Brown is now welcoming this to turn into some physical in real life violence I is think what Chris they, Brown like, actually do want to fight that nigga not for real like I really do okay because that's what that's what it feels like like before this is like cool hip hop is is back alive we're having fun we're talking shit Instagram you know BBL Drizzy cool chris brown is like no we can actually pop off. like i'm saying some shit that now invites physical violence of the highest level is what that bar to me feels like that see the thing about it for one chris brown can actually fight okay he's not like just a he ain't just some goddamn soft ass nigga like he, he can actually fight I, yeah I can believe and that. two i don't know now i don't know if this was real but the way that Chris Brown song song started was it sounded like a voice note or like Chris Brown was like recording Quavo during a conversation when they might have been trying to piece it up and Quavo was like I don't want to like, fight oh, you I bro don't want... yeah 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 you know what I'm saying like please don't like you know what I'm saying let's just just piece it up da 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 mm. so I don't know but that's sweetie but line also that's what I was saying he's a wild <laughs> boy for <laughs> them like you be bitches like what the fuck you the number you're the poster boy of that like you're almost more f- like ar- actually arguably chris brown is probably more famous as an abuser than he is as a musician i think 
globally. Yeah, I mean, like he he'll never be able to get rid of that that stain. But in the back of your mind, like you kind of always do think, oh man, Chris Brown and Rihanna. In exactly. the back Chris of your Brown mind, again. somewhere, but but like to say, like equally as famous. I think I say it's, more. It's, I would say I would say he's more famous as a, he's gotten over nah. though that more than those than what happened. Here's why I say this: for mm-hmm. people who listen to his music, absolutely, he's more famous as an artist than as an abuser. For people who stopped listening to him or who never listened to him, what I'm kind of talking about is like people who aren't part of the culture, so like non-black people. Everybody who never listened to Chris Brown shit and who hasn't since knows about the Rihanna shit. Which is more people to you. Which point, is way right? more people. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know. That's the world. Everybody, people who never listen to his music know that he beat up Rihanna. Yeah, so, yeah I'll give you that one. I will give yeah. you that one. Statistically, factually, you are correct if you would like to go that route, my brother. But it, but it's also, <laughs> and it's also just the fact that like Rihanna is speaking, because Rihanna so is exactly Rihanna's yeah. almost universally known. Right, there are people exactly, who like. Yeah know who rihanna is who probably haven't even heard rihanna's music right they're probably yes. like grandmothers she's huge you know great like she's she's infinitely more famous than, than he is yeah. so yes. when you hear about her story you're going to hear that piece of the story in some yes. fashion which and means you're going, to be exposed uh, to, you're going to be exposed crazy. to chris brown based on the abuse and not his music so yes you know so yes. I, I i i lean more towards so it's Edward on this wild aspect. to come at another man for from what I could tell, was a much lesser domestic yeah. situation than yours. Yeah, there's there's By video, far. but it doesn't even. It there's doesn't video. Even it was a scuffle yeah. in an elevator, like over a suitcase or something like that. You, like, went That's full right. Mike Tyson. Yeah. yeah, which I mean, there's arguably nuance about which. I, I, we ain't got to get, but yeah, like, you yeah, know yeah we, we ain't got to read past that. that. But still, that, but, um, but yeah, but wild, yeah, not, wild, 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 wild of you to say this about another man when you got probably one of the worst yeah. situations when it comes yes. to like a domestic violence, well covered, you know, situations. That's crazy for you yeah. to actually throw a shot about, well, at him about the same thing. Oh but man, this the, the album cover with Rihanna's face that if it, like that, it would be the wildest fucking shit. But if they, if some if somebody dropped the response diss track and it was Rihanna's mugshot, that would go fucking oh, crazy. Oh nah, no, that's you gonna have a beef, nah, because that's with everybody. Yeah, because like you can't like Rihanna. Rihanna ain't don't don't bring she Rihanna into that. this shit. She not with that. Yeah. Yeah, nah, you, you ain't fucking around with Rihanna like that. No, but it would go crazy. We love Rihanna. Um. Oh, absolutely. Well, mm, she's a great artist. Oh, I, mean, I don't really you know, know about it, her as a person. I mean, if anybody, if anybody wants to know that Chris Brown line, I suggest you Google it. You know, since we're not going to repeat it, we should, we should, we should. Well, not to corner anybody, just, but mm-hmm. just just Google it. What's the actual yeah. lyric? Yeah, All right, we got to find out. Why are you talking about the thing if you can't recite the lyrics? Shut up. Yeah. Just joking. Are we still? Do we still <laughs> want to hear this? Uh, this Drake shit? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's see. I mean, I do. Well, all right. Well, we got. I mean, it's like three minutes and fifty seconds, but. All right. Uh, I think that's fun. I think yeah. it's fun. That's yeah. nice. That's fun. And I think it's. It, I think the AI use is like a interesting. It, it, it's it, it's a new format. Like, or at least I'm not one that I'm familiar with. You know, historically, when it comes to this shit, it's like, oh, I'm not. I'm I'm not even recruiting them to to like diss you. I'm recruiting them as skit characters to be like, come on, man. Don't let him talk about you like that. Like it's a, yeah. I don't know, it's a funny format. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I said that. That's why I said he's that motherfucker is good. If you love him, like him, hate him, like he's yeah. good. Like he really knows how to play the game. Yeah, and just the I fact that yeah. Kendrick started this shit. Not he ain't started mm. because like this shit been going on. Da, 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 but he said some wild shit like that, like that, like that, on like that. Mm. And it's just kind of weird, like, oh, what you gonna do? It's been a week, and you know people love instant gratification, so it yeah. just feels like a long time. And Drake responded, and now he responding again. Yeah, this motherfucker, he's good. And, good. Then, and, just, and you can say like, oh, he took three weeks. It don't matter. You can say whatever the fuck you want on the album. <laughs> like it's still, it sound good. Like why are you taking so long? I think it just proves that I, I'm, I'm get, I think I'm getting more and more confident in my theory that they just don't have anything on Kendrick. What? I think mm. I think they just don't I think they just don't have anything like this like this is this is this is real softball shit you know like it's it's okay and it's not even and I'm not saying that you gotta that you have to that every diss track has to be hit them up like I'm not you know 
I'm not I'm not saying every diss track mm. has to be a takeover. Uh, but like I don't again, think they do have anything on Kendrick. Like, there's, there's nothing to be I, had. I'm just, I'm, and again, I'm not I'm not even saying that every Drake diss track has to be back to back. But I'm just saying like shit. Like it's not even it's not it's not W freestyle. Like it just it just seems like they're just saying the same shit. It's just like you made a Taylor Swift song. You taking a, a long time to respond. And like what, what what like what's the next round gonna be? Like yeah, you made a maybe Taylor he has Swift something. Song. I think maybe Drake he might, does. If man. any maybe if anybody does. would have something, it would be Drake. Because I mean, all you like, can do is does, does Kendrick I'm, have a child? Yeah. Yeah, you can do something about his kid, something no, about no, his wife. No, you know what you, I'm, you saying? Should, I'm just I'm just I just firmly no, yet, believe. Yes, yeah. you can. As no, you I, shouldn't. That's my point. Does that shit get personal? Because, like, again, that's when it starts leaking. That's that's when it just goes beyond, like, lyrics. Like, if you that's talk how push crazy, it into the Drake shit. Yeah, and that's why Drake was like, you know what? Nah, because I'm, and that's why Drake bowed out and lost the beef with Pusha yeah. because, like, the next step was for him to go top what he did, and which would have been super egregious and would have really started some real shit. Pusha T is also and much better. Reason. Like, like that would have, I actually would have like enjoyed that because Pusha T is actually. Pusha T is a punchline artist, right? So there are artists where it's like their style is con their regular everyday mm. style is conducive mm. to that kind of rap battle. Pusha T is one of them. Pusha T is a I put him in the same class as like Jada Kid, so like early Fab, where it's like everything they say is a fucking punchline, or even early Cole, same thing. It's like punchline, punchline, punchline. My album is a punchline fest. So I actually would have liked that had they done it, and I think Drake again with with Duppy came in with that same kind of kind of heat and i think he did it exceptionally well but i think he had material to do that and i don't think he has that with kendrick i don't think anybody does i think kendrick's public persona is too curated for them to have anything and if he has something that's like shady that he, like only he would know similar to what push had with drake i think that's the only way this gets interesting to me because right now it's just like it's like ah oh, this is cool this is cute this is cool to discuss for an afternoon but it's like none of us are going to be talking about any of these any of these tracks in, what did in, Kendrick in say months. that was because I, I kind of can't really remember from like that from like that but did Kendrick say anything about Drake that was particularly like poof you mm. got him there or no so, which is why which is why which is why I thought like that was if yeah. you recall like, I Ross, thought like Ross that was roasted pretty. Drake way better than than yes called him a white did. boy with a fucking carved out BBL like those mm -hmm. those were great like, I thought yes. that's I mean I thought that shit was just kind of mid like I was like okay like, okay, I'm not. I don't know whether the bar. I I'm not gonna argue that the bars were strong from Ross, but the digs were very strong. I mean, like I don't think anything that Kendrick like, said was like, okay, I get that's it not. It was Kendrick. Ooh. Only only thing Kendrick said was like, you said you said like we're at the top, and I'm saying that like we are not at the top. I'm at the top. That's the only thing. That's not the only anything. thing. Yeah, that's like. I mean, okay. but, but it was it was. Y'all, y'all kind of like skipping over the whole point was the fact that after they've been not liking each other and sending these subliminal shots all these mm. years, Kendrick was the first person to just be like, "Nah, fuck that, fuck you. I'm a better rapper than you. I lyrically kill yeah. you." And like with all these lyrical metaphors of how I will lyrically kill you. He you did that ten us. years ago. He did that really ten years like ago. That was I'm what control you, was. That was that what control was. was. I'm trying to body you niggas. I'm not. I'm not trying to be in that the same was, space but as you that, niggas. That I'm better. A, that than, I'm a, better than you niggas. That wasn't That's literally, a diss, though. He did that ten years ago. That wasn't a diss though. Well, that's a diss to the industry, but 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 Josh, I'm actually with you such. to begin with. Like even with what Drake was was saying about Kendrick, I don't think it's as lame as what Alvin is saying. But I agree that being able to hit somebody with like, oh, you're actually making interesting points about their character and making interesting insults is a thing that neither of them have done. So I, I, I think the, the shit that we just listened to with Drake, it's like, it's pretty nice. Yeah. But like, it's not, it's not anything crazy. And so yeah, I don't yeah. think that, like yeah. Alvin's point that like, oh, they don't have nothing on Kendrick. I'm like, Kendrick, Kendrick's not even coming at anybody with like push a T type, like, or even like what Chris Brown did where he was like, it, you you beat a woman and your your uh your cousin has been executed like th those are like what you're saying regardless of the rap is wild i mean like you, you even like and, just missing skipping over the whole like sweetie line like that was I, it took me like three listens to get that to get that bar oh when he good, was talking was about good. fucking look sweetie man chris, chris brown i'm not chris skipping brown, has, I'm, I'm chris brown has released the best the best diss track of 2024 I think I probably agree with regard. Like I don't know yep. if I th if I think musically it's the best one, but content wise, it's mm, I, I, him and Ross. I think are the two that like they're actually coming at people. Yeah. 
They're not just doing, I'm a better rapper than you. I rip rap more than your rap. Can rip. Like, I, rip they're not... <laughs> I rip it up more than you. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty much all Kendrick and Drake have been doing and Cole have been doing. You sell yeah. because of what I sell and you're a sellout who doesn't sell as many records as I sell and I see sales by the and seashore. You, like, okay, you're not, you know. And, and you only put out albums every three years and I put out yeah. albums every two years. Like, it's just Ooh. like, I mean. I, yeah. mean but, I mean, but like the Drake and Rick Ross are just, just getting stupid it because they Talking about it was how funny. rich, how rich we are. Oh, oh, you only oh. own a five fifteen percent of the island over there. <laughs> I own. 20. Yeah, no, that's silly. That's like, I don't want to hear about that. What the they're fuck doing a joint see? album next year. Mark my words. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, next year. I want to see it. Yeah, <laughs> you got twenty five percent body fat with a carved out six piece. That's yo, that awesome. shit was that's good. That shit was good. That shit was that's good. Brilliant. That shit was yeah. good. Um, and speaking I of see selling, that. And, you know, and speaking of selling out, we've actually sold out. Oh, shit. of this little thing more than once. And the yeah. good brother Eddie Shing. is going to tell us a little bit more about it. <laughs> Yo, you ever been listening to the podcast and thought, man, I want to have conversations just like this with me and the homies. You know what I'm saying? At the dinner party, at the kickback, at the barbecue, just hanging in a park. You know what I'm saying? Shooting some b-ball outside of the school, but you're you're tired of playing the, ba the basketball because, yeah. you know, your knees are any of that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. you should play this game. You know what I'm saying? It's a red flag. It's uh, 52 possibilities of, of conversational prompts about what is and is not a red flag when it comes to dating. As a matter of fact, let's play a card right quick and we'll show you how it goes. It's always a rip roaring fun time. Rip rapping and hip hopping, you know? Is it a red flag if they... Mm, I've got the same number of bodies as you. Mm. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. A little bit, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> this nigga laugh like a diabolical genius. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, no. No. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, yes, but not a not a deal breaker at all. Uh, so, okay, I'm thinking about myself personally. But again, yeah, me personally, to, I, yes. It, it is a red flag if she's got the same number yeah. of bodies as you, you little yes. whore. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Were we not Definitely. supposed to be answering these personally? Were we supposed to be answering from a structural, societal, uh, ecological stance? You yeah, no, that's actually on the instruction card. So any of y'all listeners who in, who get the game, y'all who are playing at home already, you're supposed to answer it personally. Okay. Just oh. so we're clear. Oh, I thought... Uh -huh. This is the official UNO mm. rule guidebook, all right? You cannot put a plus two on a fucking plus four or whatever this shit is. I'm going to say no. I mean, like, especially because... Look, I stopped counting a long goddamn time ago, okay? Mm. Um, Dozens ago. I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this thing was like, I don't even remember how many out of me. He said even, one, one hundred, two, you know, one hundred. <laughs> he's like, if I, if I got a ballpark here, you I know. I mean, shit. Five a week. Order a Mac, uh, you know. Start it, start it when I was 17 type nigga. Yeah, like, to create damn, new Josh. units of measurement. One megabitch, two, two megabitch. megabitch. Three megabitch, four. So you, That's a gigabitch. So you know you got to square. <laughs> you know, you got to square these bitches. No, yeah. I like, <laughs> but no, like, because I... Multiply but, by three headers. Okay, <laughs> but what, oh, the reason why I said that was because, like, my body count ain't, at least in my eyes, like, it's not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Not like, true. So, but, but I know, like, a lot of guys... If a girl said that she had the same number of bodies that I did to like one of these dudes, they're like, "Oh my god, she da 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 da." -da. But like, I know I, I don't be fucking like that. Like I don't, mm. be, I don't like fuck new girls like that. <laughs> and it's yeah. and like it's it's kind of easy to rack up some bodies after goddamn. Okay, J Mo, <laughs> let them know how you how you move. It's easy for me. It's nah, actually bro. hard not to rack up bodies hey, look, man. when you when you J Mo. <laughs> man, look, bro, one, like, you know one coming over and one right now, head ass nigga. They don't, yeah, yeah, they don't call me J Mo bitches for nothing. <laughs> man, please, boy, I tell y'all, y'all just don't y'all don't understand the caliber of niggas I, I, I associate with. I guess because you like them cats, <laughs> my niggas be getting it in, and I'm like, how? Mm -hmm. You're actually like, considered a weakling among your people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. He's like this the weakest Vilshamite. You know what I mean? Just like it's like you know I'm a you know I'm worth a hundred million, but these niggas is billionaires type yeah, shit. Like, like, shit. It's like I'm a poor. I'm a poor. I am. That's a poor. like the sumo wrestler from the Jackie Chan adventures. Like when you meet his family and they're all like giants. Like he's the smallest one yeah. in the family. That's crazy. Yeah. So so yeah with that like. No, nah, but at the same time, again, like I said this shit before, I really don't want to fucking know like that. 
I don't really. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I have I haven't had a body count conversation since I was no. like twenty. Like yeah. I just don't. Give, I'm, like I'm like yeah. I'm, I'm no, not having the conversation. So I so so it could it could never be a red flag for me because I'm not gonna I'm not ever gonna know. No. Um, but what if you find to it? not sidestep it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Not to sidestep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Like even if I found out, I still don't care because also also you know like my logic with that is also to to Josh's point. Even if even if you're fairly conservative in 2024, right? Mm. As you get up in age, the numbers just gonna oh, you know yeah. the raw number is gonna be what it is. So I also One just don't care because I'm, in your 30s like, I'm not is... exactly like I'm not fuck I'm not fucking you know a young person you know particularly anymore. So it's like the numbers are going the numbers are going to be big. Even again, even if you're a con, a relatively conservative person, if you're not even going in fast. that regard, yeah, yeah, if you're not even going fast in 2024. If I'm dating in my age range, so it's like I don't like I like I would I wouldn't care. See, from that my, let me that. let me like add some context to my because I think that the problem with the body count thing is like is it is is the red flag thing of like is it bad if they have the same body count as me? It's like no, I'm not saying that, but I would say like depending on when, like when you caught me in my you know metamorphosis, like my body count at a particular point in time would have been a red flag to someone else. Not like that it's morally that, bad to have fair. slept with a bunch of people, but it's like your body count is this. That might be an indication of how you're moving. So if a woman was like, yeah. yo, I'm, you know, I'm at this age. I'm at this point in my life. My body count right now is this. And it, it ticked over yesterday. That might be a red flag for forming like a strong bond at that moment. It doesn't it's not a moral stain. I'm not saying a, a, a equal body count is a moral stain, but is it a red flag that you might have like uh still active promiscuous behaviors like an inability to form stable relationships like insecurities that are destroying relationships like m maybe that you're not interested in something long term absolutely yeah. there's other contexts though that might make that a non-issue because like you so said I, I, yeah like by the time you're you know grown like three summers you're racking up double digits easily yeah, bro. yeah like damn three summers I, you was getting it in. No, 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 I'm saying as a woman, but like yeah. as a guy as too, a but as a woman specifically, easy. as a woman, but three, three, three summer, three single summers, double, Big double facts. digits is Big very facts. normal. Big yeah, facts. damn. But I will say that when I asked all those, all those many years ago, um, yeah. it was it was very much in line with like your thinking. Um, I also have changed kind of like my perspective on how like I view like. Uh, like what what it means to be promiscuous and like even what that was like as a mm. again as a, as a seasoned adult now but when i asked it was it was in my mind at least at the time a gauge of like how you're moving and not yes. on some like you know oh you're it's a bad not a moral thing you're fucking kind yeah. of thing like yeah no. if you if you have a i mean yeah like especially the fa the farther back it is the less of an issue it is if you've got a thousand bodies from and i and i mean literally not, i'm not being hyperbolic if you've got a thousand bodies from mm, seven plus years ago and you haven't been moving like that since cool like you know i would say if you have a thousand bodies and the, and the thousandth was a month ago that's probably that, there's probably an issue there that's not compatible with the with like the relationship that i want to have yeah. but i will but i will also say that like the and and going back to what i was saying like how i've changed my perspective on promiscuity it's like I think that you can do that in a way that's healthy, and I think that if you're if you're doing that, somebody has to be kind of like your like your first foray out of out of Not what me. that meant for you. Not right? I. And I and I think it's fine if like people don't want to be that person. I kind of don't care. Like that kind of doesn't. Yeah, bother me, I can so. I can see that. Yeah. I, the other thing is, I think because I also haven't had. I, I think I've only probably had two situations where I've known somebody, or maybe maybe three, where I've known somebody's body count and one was a woman who like it was kind of like a point of pride she had like a roller deck she was trying to fuck every dude in the alphabet and so we just kind of talked about it and it wasn't for me it wasn't a red flag because we we crazy i don't crazy, know crazy. that's that's a bit of a red flag i don't i'm like yo i am not putting my dick in that goddamn that's a look you can do that safely <laughs> i don't know safely. Look? it was a it was a you kevlar can do condom it safely it was, <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. Let, let, like i don't know we act like we act like you can get like 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 aids on top of climate like like shit that can now eat through a condom it's like yeah look 
she probably fine. Like a condom is doing his job. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's not a stress. So you, so you smash. That's what you're saying. All right. I ain't mad at. I, no, I we not, were, I we were, we were in bed while she was showing me her little moleskin that had all the shit in it. So like this is a after conversation you, we were after, having. Like post in, fuck. Well, not like damn during. Oh, so, you, so, so she yeah, was on she E. She was on E. And she, was you know. <laughs> she was on E. And she <laughs> let you know. She was. She, said, she was like Eddie. <laughs> and it, and it, didn't tick, it didn't tick over till she nutted. Right. So we were fucking, and she was like, "Oh, uh, uh, okay." Count, yeah, and then count. she ticked oh. me off. Yeah, <laughs> that counts. So the body count could have been even higher than that. But my my point there was, I think red flag is like also for me contextual in terms of like what I'm because I at the time we, we were having fun. It wasn't. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah. We were having. She was. She was a kind person. There were some. There were maybe some negative behaviors, but not anything that like. If if anything, I was the more toxic off person in that context. There was some like life shit that was going on with her that was bad. Mm. But for the most part, there was nothing bad about her. She was grown ass woman having a good time, sucking and fucking in the way that she wants, enjoying herself. Yeah, I feel yeah. it. Like, I feel like you, it's not an issue. You know, it's. I would be lying if I was if I because I'm just imagining it. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, here's all the guys I'm fucking. I'm just like, yep, going, working my way down from A to Z. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this information? Like, that's not turning me on. Uh, it, well, look, I kind, of, I kind of was into it. I was kind of into it, not going to lie. I mean, and I Because like, I, mean, <laughs> I was also free. We were, we were, and I don't know how y'all, but like when you're in that situation ship shit and you're not yeah. trying to like create the oh, illusion yeah, of yeah, like yeah. love, yeah, I, no, you be, yeah. I, I'm, you, you exchanging whole stories. Yeah. Nah, I'm yeah. This way, da, da, da. Like, you, that's what, it, yeah. You're right. So You're right. she was hearing all my, she was hearing everything I was doing. I was hearing everything she was doing in lightweight. It was kind of hot. Like, it was like, yeah. cool. I know how you move. Let, I want to try that. Like, let's do that. Like, da 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 da. Uh, so, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So it wasn't, it wasn't an issue. So that one, not a red flag contextually. I was like, this is interesting and a little bit hot, kind of. The other two, it was like they were testing the waters and those were a little bit off. Like they were like, "Hey, what's yours?" So that I can tell you mine to 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 like get it off my chest. And I'm like, I really don't give a fuck. But so yeah, one million. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, right? One, one million. You know what I mean? What's yours? Fifteen? Oh, that's pretty high. I'm Whoa. five thousand. No. I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the price is right. It's all. It's all. Yeah. <laughs> you just one over whatever they say. <laughs> yeah. They say fifteen. Yeah. Oh, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, I always take one off. Whatever she say, I'm taking. I'm going by half. Uh, do we have a? Uh, we got time for one more. Text him. Was, she got home when he was already asleep. Yes. Okay. That was the one I All was right. Say. All right. But that's a short. We can do that real quick. Okay. Yeah. Hold on me. Oh, I can pull it up. The girls to weigh in on this because I can't tell if I'm being completely irrational or unreasonable. So I've been seeing this guy and Why you need the girls to weigh in on it. We talking about point, We decided to have dinner the other night. So we go out to dinner, we That's both a have question. a couple of glasses of wine at dinner, and then we go back to his place together. This is my first time at his place, and I think we all can assume what happened from there. So I'm going home, and he walks me to my car, thankfully, and as we're saying goodbye, he tells me to text him when I get home. Courteous, right? It took me about 20 minutes to get home, so by the time I'm home, it's around 2 a.m. I text him that I made it home safely, and he doesn't respond. So he texts me back the next morning and he's like, glad you made it home. Okay. He obviously fell asleep, but I just feel like given the circumstances, I'm a new girl that you're seeing. We both had a couple of glasses of wine with dinner. We just hooked up and I was driving home late at night. I feel like he should have stayed awake to make sure I made it home. Okay. Obviously I get it that late at night. No one wants to stay up, but like when you're dating, don't you want to make sure she made it, especially as a guy. I mean, like I don't have many means to defend myself like should something happen i don't know i just feel like he should have made sure i made it home okay is that unreasonable i mean it was like 2 a.m so i get it but at the same time i'm like mm, i don't know can we also add the context of the tweet that responded to that because some of the person that i that i saw this from they say the hardest part of your early 20s as a woman is having to mm. fully grasp the extent to which men do not care and are generally indifferent about your well-being. Because I think that's the I think that's the most interesting, like, subtext of this thing. Hell, I, this is a quick one. I, <laughs> well, let's see what we think. Because <laughs> maybe mean, we disagree. I don't know. I mean. If I'm being totally honest with myself, I, I don't want to believe that the sub 
the sub the, the subcontext, like what you just said, like, oh my God, mm. men just generally don't give a fuck about your well being, ladies. That's the toughest part to to because I from a woman's point of view, I can under I can definitely understand like why they would come to that conclusion. But I guess also just thinking as a man, it's like, no, nah, that ain't fucking true. I care about I care about bitches' well being. What the fuck shit? I love yeah. you. Homie. What the fuck? The fuck shit? I want you to be I, well. I, I'll be goddamn. I'll be like, yo, you made a home safe shit. I'll be texting her, you made a home safe. She hit me up the next day. Oh yeah, I just ain't give a fuck about texting you. Like, all right, well, cool. But but one thing about men though, we don't do that shit with each other. Like we're not socialized like that with each other. I do. So but I, but I agree okay, with your a point. lot, a, you know, yeah, largely, 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 yeah, largely. Yeah. We're talking about. Society, I agree with your so. point, hundred percent. Yeah, so yeah. but we should. Uh, the only reason I said that was I think we should. That's all I was saying. Yeah. But we should give point. a fuck more about each other, absolutely. But it's just a thing of if we're not conditioned in such a way, just naturally, all throughout life, like how women have to really be conscious of their surroundings way more than men do. Women have to be way more conscious about you know who they take drinks from, just just existing. Yes. They have to take so much more shit into consideration that we don't even think about. And, I think that's to her point. And yeah, and that's what I'm saying too. Like I'm not disagreeing because what the thing is is like it's like nah, man, I do care about. But at the same time, it's like oh, well, shit. I can definitely understand why you might feel that way, but it's just a thing of we're not necessarily conditioned to actually display that in actionable, like just in everyday action yeah. with most women. And then hell, half the time. But either with some of these toxic women, and when you mm. do try to do that shit, it's not quite the vibe back that you were expecting. I don't know. So it's like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, you get posted up. He's checking to see if I'm all right. We, we, we done linked one time. time. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Lame as hell. What? <laughs> so I'm going I'm to yeah, split the difference. So one, I will oh, say. Oh, I haven't even said what I believe yet, but. Yeah. No, I'm saying, you know, just between. When I say split the difference, I mean between the the point that you brought up as the as the follow up tweet, and also what she's oh, actually yes, okay. explicitly trying to get addressed um, in that video. If you open an app and at any given point a hundred guys, you know, mm. can can come at you, you kind of got to be pretty pretty strategic <laughs> yeah. on how you weed out those people. So if this is something that she ultimately wants and she's looking for like a relationship or she's looking for a consistent you know dating situation probably she probably has lots of options so i think that it's fine for her to have pretty strict criteria on how she's like weeding through what is probably a a buffet like literally in, in the palm of her hand so mm -hmm. i'm actually fine with what she's doing and and as far as those go this is a, a fairly reasonable in my opinion i will say in terms of how people are positioning this as something that like well men don't give a shit about anybody and like they haven't had to care about people in the same way that women have had to care about i think that men are just I think men do that differently a lot of the times, right? So I'm very similar to Eddie. Um, me and my friends do check in on each other, especially if like it's like a drinking kind of situation. But I wouldn't be slighted if my friends check up on me the next day, which is more often what happens. Like they don't they don't be like, oh man, text me. You know, they'll say that, text me when you get home or whatever, which I never do. And then I'll say some shit like, oh, just got in, you know, at like noon. And it's like a running joke that we have. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, what were you doing? And I'm like, man, I was just out grinding. You know, doing what I do, mm -hmm. the grind never Making sleeps. Kind of bullshit. You know I mean? Yeah, I'll say I'll say some bullshit like that. So I think so I think that like the way men's friendships operate are much more low maintenance in that regard, and I think that you could argue in a lot of contexts that that's less fulfilling. But I also think that you could argue on the flip side. In a lot of ways, it leads to a lot of neuroticism in the way that women approach friendships. Like the way women mm. talk about their friendships and how they expect this like they they expect they expect their friends to be like they're everything in a lot of situations and i think that on some level that that's unfair too so yo, i think see, that you kind of need to split the difference in I, those regards yo i, I, and I, I think it's complicated the now nah, hold because, let me i'm okay, okay. You, yeah yeah <laughs> no, no 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 if you got if you I got just, fired yeah, cuz i got cuz like bro like no nah, like i saw like a fire ass tiktok when a dude literally was talking about like the low maintenance of male friendships and how like women like view our friendships like less than because like we're so low maintenance with one another. It's like, no, like y'all don't get it. Maybe it's not for you to understand because that is the gift. Like the, sometimes the best gift that you can give to another nigga is the gift of not having to do shit except enjoying that other person's company. So like being Josh, there for see. So Josh, I'm gonna back, I'm gonna back you up because I, I say this as myself, like my selling point, as a partner for women is legitimately that I come to the relationship as a full person. You don't have, to, I, I'm not a second you child. Do you don't have to, you don't have to feed me. You don't have to fucking clean up for me. 
you know, you ain't got to pay my bills. Like, I'm not going to be out in the streets doing nothing stupid. Like, I see, I see, I see, I see value. No, no, because again, I think that's a weird way to think of relationships that like the only value that you can get of a relationship is labor and not like what you're doing. So like, I think, I think, I think that's weird. I think that's weird. I think that's weird saying that like, oh, it's a roommate. Is a little bit of back and forth. Like, okay. So I think I kind of agree with y'all. Like I, I disagree on the bigger. I just don't think it's labor. I think I think that I think that women have been socialized to think that friendship and relationships is labor because the patriarchy has made the relationship between men and women about labor, and I think because of that they skew what their friendships to think that labor? only friendship because is labor. The thing that we're saying about like male friendships, I think that male friendships do lack a lot. Like I agree, there's neuroticism in female friendships, but it's like and and don't get me wrong, like. Because I know that we can do this cherry pick anecdotal thing where we're like, okay, yeah, me and my homeboy who we never link or we never talk or we're low maintenance, when I really needed him, he came through. But in large numbers, is that really what's happening? In large numbers, when a woman gets into a difficult situation, she gets into a car accident, she has a medical situation, whatever, th there's often a tribe of women who are there to help her through the shit. When a man is going through the same it's thing, it's a nigga a that's of, there to help her through that shit. Okay, like, I'm, not, I'm, not, like, 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 I'm not saying it, again, it's again, because I don't want to do this niggas. anecdotal it's thing of like, hey, I have an it's example that like counters to what you're saying. I'm saying, by and large, when comparing the two groups, not our individual experiences, because one, I think we're all, I think, I think, I think, I think the only thing that either of us have on measure? that side is anecdotes. I think the only thing that either of us have on the side of that is anecdotes. No, no, I think we, if you no, say, because I think if you say women, if women do it, it's going to be anecdotes. Also, experience. We can look at what other people. Experience. Yeah, and, and and if I'm looking at what other people have also experienced on that side, okay, like okay. yeah, yeah, like niggas are calling their niggas if like they get in a car accident. Like okay, okay, yeah, bro, and, like, and Josh same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's okay. the thing, though, because like, and when I say like we're low maintenance, it's not that we don't give a fuck about each other. Like, you know, contrary to what I said earlier, but it's just the fact that if I if if you need me, I'm there for you, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. know, I got your back. But the thing is, I'm not making myself your problem. Like, I'm not always looking to get something out of you just to, just so I know that you're my friend. I don't need really, the two. I really it's, value. It's, it's, I don't need the two. I don't need the two thirty a.m. texts, right? I need. I need. But I don't can't need it, can't it be a little bit of give and take? Like, yeah, and course, I think, of course, yeah, I think no it can. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like, I got and your I back. You got my back. That. No, yeah. we're, I'm not. We're not saying that. It's we're not. I, I don't think that me and Alvin are saying that male friendships are not also give and take. It's just there's a lot less pressure on it. To, for, for it to be like this uh, this overt give and take type shit because we already know most guys already know what it is to be like the provider and have that pressure on you so like what mm. we do for each other is we don't put that pressure on one another like, it's less about the like, like it's let's, less let's, about the let's labor. get specific let's get specific if we're talking about a situation like this one of like texting to see whether or not your home homie gets home safe i think that to and to your initial point i think is in line with what which and I actually disagree with the commentary that this, that the uh, responder has put, but I'll get in that in a second. I think when we look at the way men look at the safety and care of the people that they do care about, it is at a lower level and being like, OK, cool, I'm going to check in on my homeboy to see whether or not he got home the next day versus, hey, yo, shoot me a text and just make sure that you're safe because I'll know. And if something does happen because shit happens all the time. People fall in a fucking alley, they get in a car accident, and a text message or a check-in could be the difference between life and death. It, it, it happens all the time. Being like, I care a little bit more, I'm going to check in. Framing that as like someone else being high maintenance as opposed to you being high care seems like an, like an arbitrary framing. Like, I want to give those things in a relationship. Yeah. So I, And I also expect them so... Automat I'm, and I'm not saying you can, can't have different levels of friendship that if you want to have that style, that's cool. But automatically looking at that as, oh, you're being high maintenance and putting pressure on it to me is, I think, masculinity being rooted in not kind of not giving so, a fuck. And it's bad so, for us. So I I led with I don't think that that part is unreasonable for her to Same. want that. Like, I, I literally led with that. I'm talking about a no, larger Josh, point. I don't, so, I don't think that you're being 100% there. No, I mean, like, I mean, if I didn't have a chance to actually articulate myself properly, but, like, I'm not okay. disagreeing with you on that front. I literally said we should care more. We should actually, you know, care a little bit more about each other in terms of emotional, like, doing okay. shit like you just said. That's not an unreasonable yeah, yeah. ass. No one so, is saying that that's yeah. an unreasonable ass. I think, she's, I think she's being very reasonable in the dating market, and I think that, again, like, she could have... 
when you have the kind of options that the modern woman has, I think that she could be way, she could jump way out of left field and still be very successful in the dating market. And I don't think she's doing that here. I think she's being pretty reasonable. I, when I brought up the other points, I'm addressing the follow-up tweet. See, I actually disagree with both of them because I don't think this, I think she's being unreasonable. Like, I think this is a first date. This is like a first or second date. And she's acting like the dude, like, it's fine for you to, I guess, want that. But like to act like a dude is like w wild for falling asleep at 2 a.m. And acting after, like this is evidence. After smashing. That, I also yeah, don't think that's smashing. what she was doing. I also don't think that's what she was doing. I think she was doing what I'm, what I'm saying. I think she's Which like, I think she's like, I'm a woman. I can get on fucking, you know, Tinder right now and get something nah. you know and i think Her she's whole, like um, we I'm, we, I'm weeding it out i'm weeding out no no, no. I, this this I, didn't seem to me an it. indifferent weed out she this seemed like i'm having an emotional reaction to whether or not this motherfucker is a good person she's she's responding with an emotion to it not like mm, i would prefer this kind of a person than this type of person we've she's like no i feel some type of way about that which you're allowed to feel some type of way but i think it's it's too much for like a first or second date like if, if regularly this was an issue, like if you see like he's not the kind of person who follows up or checks in or, or whatever, it's like he, he preemptively texted the next morning. He doesn't know you. Y'all aren't dating. Y'all aren't close. Y'all fucked once that night. He fell asleep. I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's an indication that this person isn't capable of giving a fuck about you or caring about your well-being. And I definitely don't think it's, an, it's evidence that men don't give a fuck at all. But to your point, Josh, I do think that men's standard of what is considered to be care lacks proactiveness, both in our relationships to other men and in our relationships to women. So I think her larger point I agree with. But this particular example, I think she's doing slightly too much. You are a fucking psychopath. I just want you to know that I love you. But you are a psychopath. That was a brilliant. <laughs> what I do. This nigga just argued, like, he argued against me and Alvin about a point. We technically wasn't He argued against himself. He argued yes, against himself. Yes, arguing against himself and then turn no, right twice. back around. He this argued against himself twice. Being unreasonable. <laughs> Who the this fuck nigga argued against himself twice. Expected a nigga to respond to that at 2.30 in the thing. fucking morning after taking. No, because yeah, because I didn't fucking, get to talk first. Because I would have said, I would have said that from the beginning. Shit. I'm saying I agree with, I, I disagree with y'all on the larger point about the way men approach care. This particular specific micro level example, I think is, is a miss application of that okay yeah that's, that's cool. fair that's cool but you did yeah, argue against yourself twice on some piccolo shit you just like you know how like on dbz when they, nuance, like, baby. when they were like fucking um duplicate oh, uh, themselves nail. and they fight against themselves mm. that's hilarious just, the best possible the best possible training like yeah is fighting yourself <laughs> yeah i gotta keep myself sharp you know what i'm saying it's nobody that it's nobody that can challenge me but me so i gotta do an ai eddie and battle Jeez. against him. And on that note, mm -hmm. if they don't text you to make sure you made it in safe after taking you to Pound Town, then goddammit, you might be seeing a red flag. But if you're still counting bodies, then you might be you that's waving a red flag. I mean, it's like, you your know, big you age like, listening you, to this podcast. You know what I mean? I mean, hell, it's your young age. You know what I'm saying? If you're a young jit, you know what I'm saying? Pre 20s, mid 20s early 20s if that's still super important you're like yo i know i fucked about 37 bitches already i got 30s like ah, i mean come on buddy you might need to give it up um in a couple years if not immediately but that's yeah. not shaming <laughs> so it's been your boy josh it's been eddie it's been alvin Ooh -wee. all right so the good things what we're doing now uh make sure to like comment subscribe uh, hit that notification bell so you can stay abreast to when we go live, especially if you are new here. Yes, we do go live every Saturday night around 8.50, you know, 9 p.m. Because niggas be late sometimes, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We be on that CP time. Stop Eastern. sending us complaint emails. That's yeah, not stop. what the feedback box you know is I mean? for. Yeah, boy, you know, sure. I mean, well, you know, shout out to y'all, though, because it's Saturday. Y'all could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. So thank and you. And we thank you for that. Thanks you know for hanging I mean? out with us. But we're going to be there when we get there. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got to go through tech checks. But, um, yeah. but yeah, so that's uh, 845 9. You know what I'm saying? Your boys be live, swing through, chop it up with us. We love to hear your questions in the comments and da 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 da. Make sure that if you have not done so, spice up your, you know, your regular, regular conversations with the It's a Red Flag card game and support your boys because, you know, we're going to be doing some cool shit. 
and uh you know bringing you some bringing you some dope shit you know what i mean and thank y'all so much for the support so far make sure that you are also catching the additional bonus content and if you do miss lives you can also catch those content catch that content and get further context into some of the shit we be saying that comes from the lives by joining the patreon the spotify the discord wherever the fuck else we at wherever podcast is at baby it's your boys it's waving the red flag you know what i'm saying so yes that's it, is it. what it is and god damn it we got to shorten that shit up man we, we we got way too much stuff going on yeah we just keep going up you god damn we're just gonna send you a qr code just scan yeah. the shit read it you know yeah, what I'm saying? like terms and conditions fuck this podcast the, may cause mesothelioma don't worry about it the magazine and the blog is coming out next year Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Fashion show. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're dropping a, a a moisturizing cream as well. So yeah. Yeah. big facts. Look out for that. A movie. Right. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, Alvin got a sneaker shoe uh, coming out too. Yeah. Oh, it's a loafer. I heard about it's a that. loafer actually. You know. Uh, mm, for niggas loafers. that want a podcast, you know. Yeah. Mm, perfect. <laughs> perfect podcast shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Under the desk. <laughs>